Hello and welcome to the channel. Now I've just finished painting this which turned out not too bad. I'm quite pleased with that. So watch me paint it here and talk my usual nonsense. Don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello and welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that jazz. Now I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas. I haven't bothered gessoing it or oat. Just going to go straight on. Um, size wise, I think, get my uh, yardstick. It's 20 by 16, I guess. Yeah, I guess we are. 20 by 16. And I'll get my. Um, what do you call it, my palette camera on and I will be back in one second. Right, palette cam is on, I hope. Um, get a pointer. On my glass palette I've got some push and blue, I've got some sap green with a bit of red ochre mixed into it. I've got red ochre, I've got sap green on its own I've got um, a bit of push and blue mixed into titanium white, make a nice sky colour. Oh no, it's not titanium white, it's flake white to make a nice sky colour. And that's flake white on its own. Not that there's a big difference between flake white and titanium white. I just bought flake white by accident. So there we go. So anyway, I'll get my main camera on and we'll get the show on the road. Right, let's uh, do this. I forgot linseed oil, so uh, off camera I just put some on my palette and we'll get going. Get my flat brush and give it a do. See what happens. Right, I'm going to get some uh, of this sap green. Just, I'm going to do a ship. I've been thinking about doing a ship all day. So I just put a bit of a crest of a wave on. I did a video yesterday but um, things didn't turn out so I forgot to turn my microphone on and spent the best part of 40 minutes talking to myself but there we go. Is what it is. Right, I've got the sea nice and low down so hopefully I've got room to plunk the ship on. I did a ship um, day before yesterday, which is here, and it's it's all right. It's a bit it's a bit dark, but um, it does. It might be a work in progress. I might come back to that at some point after it dries, but uh, it's not looking too bad as it is. Right, there's my crest of a wave just rough at this stage. Looks a little bit like a mountain actually. But uh, anyway, we'll crack, go, crack on with it. Just checking my camera's still on. Right, let's get ooh, a palette knife and get this round one. It's, it's got a rounded edge. Almost like the shape of a ship, I suppose. I'll put on some of this sap green mixed with... Oh no, well, no, no, no. Jumping ahead, I'll do the sky first. Oh god, I keep forgetting stuff. Got to put my Dexter gloves on. Which was uh, some advice of Joe Hope, who is an artist. Very good artist, actually. Yeah, the suggested I used gloves, which is uh, a good idea. Right, I'll put some uh, sky on first. I, I want to get the sky on before the ship. I almost put the ship on first, but that would be a waste of time. Just doing the sky first. I'm not fighting to get, you know, in all the bits of rigging. 
of the ship had to leave a halo around it, you know. So sky first, followed by a ship. Camera's still on. Yeah, we're all doing okay. I do like doing ships, so they interest me. They're not hugely accurate when I do them, so I just do them, you know, without using a reference photo or whatever, and without any decent knowledge of ships. Just do it from my imagination. I've got a wobbly canvas, which happens. Oh my god, see what I mean? Come on, John. Add a bit of linseed oil as well. Ugh, it's not working today, it really isn't. My gloves are trying to ping off my hand. Yeah, I've got very limited experience with ships, being uh, a Derbyshire lad, you know, brought up in the middle of England, miles away from the sea. We used to go a lot, you know, we used to go uh, on holiday every year, we used to go to the seaside. We used to, we tended to go up to Northumberland or Yorkshire, places like that. And my grandparents lived in West Kirby, which near the sea, so uh, we were there for plenty of weekends through the year. One funny thing that happened, well, a couple of funny things. Um, went to used to do a bit of sea fishing from boats and uh, went to Beaumaris for a fishing excursion now if you don't know Beaumaris is in uh, North Wales so we went there and you know I'd been on a few boats in the past But uh, this occasion, uh, you know, there were a few of us there, a few, there, there was about three of us and a load of holiday makers fishing, you know, various ages, adults, kids, you name it. And uh, the idea is you, you spend, I don't know, was it some like six or eight hours or whatever on the boat and you can hire you, you, know, you can take your own fishing stuff or you can hire theirs I'll just check my camera there we are goody gum drops so you know majority of people you, you hire their stuff but the pilot of the boat ha oh you friggin' ah sort that out you know you, you hire fishing tackle and all that jazz but the, the skipper of the boat has to stop the boat to set everything up which takes a bit of time so we were there chugging along on this buddy uh, it was a big catamaran big thing and um, you know had a, a radar on top it was quite fancy and the skipper shouted out from the from the cab can anyone take over the controls while I set up the, you know, the fishing tackle? He had to shout back because the, the boat, the boat were making loads of noise. But um, I might just add a bit of uh, push and blue into the sky as well, just a touch. 
So, me, you know, being me, I thought, oh yeah, I, you know, leapt up and offered my services, my rudimentary knowledge of boats. I went, yeah, I, I can, I can do it, no problem. So I, uh, I, I just leapt at the opportunity, so I jumped up off my bench at the back of the boat and went to the cab. You know, before anyone else had the chance, you know, I, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll drive it or whatever. So I got in the cab and, you know, it was all buttons and levers and you know, all sorts of stuff and a, a horn. And um, he said, yeah, all you've got to do is just hold this wheel thing, keep the boat straight, don't hit the lighthouse and other boats. And, you know, this was all fancy. I had, had GPS tracking and radar and buddy, all sorts of things. This boat did. And he said, you know, see that screen? And I, I looked at the screen and he said, where that, you know, that marker is us, when that marker reaches this point, which was called the Skerries, something like that near an island, he said, when we reach that point, stop. And all you do is just pull, you know, do the lever to slow it down and it goes forward, back, stop, you name it. I thought, right, right, oh, I can do that, no problem. Leave it with me. It's in safe hands. And he, you know, went off to sort out people's fishing rods and bait and all that business. And, you know, I, I went, ah, I probably went, ah, I've asked at some point as well. So he was doing that and I went, going on this boat, we were going a fair rate of knots, you know, skipping the waves on this bloody great big catamaran and they're quite choppy and we reached this lighthouse, I right, I knew not to hit the lighthouse so I just gently, you know, just skimming the waves and I was having a whale of a time. And, um, you know, all that were going on. I was watching this GPS, you know, where the marker was and, you know, where we were going to end up. And I had to keep it on the, on the right track, if you like. So time went on, you know, and, you know, I confidence got a bit better. So I just opened up the taps a bit more and it were giving it some. Now, we eventually reached the skerries, you know, the bit where we're going to fish from. Check my camera. And I'll put some red oak in the sky. You know, we, we got to the point where I needed to stop the boat. So I thought, right, so I grabbed hold of this throttle thingy and just yanked it backwards and the the boat just, just stopped and, and I went right like this, went forward and everyone, you know, outside behind the cab just went flying forward, you could hear people screeching down the bloody uh, wet deck and you know, clout in the back of this bloody cab. <laughs> Just knocked everyone on their asses, you know. But apparently to slow a boat down, you've got to do it gradually. I just went, ah, I'm sure the back end bloody lifted up. So that was the end of that. Yeah, the, the skipper took control and uh, pointed out that, yeah, if you're going to slow a boat down, do it slowly. He did let me control it again on the way back in, but I was, I was you know, it was quite, quite gentle this time. But yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, I'll never forget the people screeching down the deck and landing on their arses. Right, 
stormy-ish sky. Right, I might, oh, my hands are covered. Just dispense with my gloves for a minute, I think. Because they're getting a bit mucky and horrible. Just grab my kitchen towel. Just wipe away some of this, uh, what do you call it? Sky. Right, that's mm, sky isn't too bad. I might uh, do a few finishing touches on it. Oh, fire engine passed then. Did you hear that? Sorry, uh, Joe, I'm going to have to uh, do without gloves for a second. Close your eyes while you watch this bit. Excuse my arm in the way. Uh, put some darkness in the sky. Bit more push and blow. Just up there. Right, that is not too bad. I have to do a bit of wiping again. Interesting shapes and things going on in the sky. Nice and stormy. Right, I might get, uh, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. So I had a close up of me then. Just wipe away there a bit. Trying to get kind of light there on the horizon and darker as we go up. That's the idea, anyway. I'd have done well gesso in this board, but I just couldn't be bothered. I just wanted to paint. Being at work today, well, you know, I've, I've had a good day, enjoyed it. But I was just looking forward to getting painting. Right. Next. Ship time. Oh yeah, I'm get that uh, curvy palette knife I was on about earlier. Just get some some of green mixed with uh, um, what do you call it? Red ochre. Bear with me while I mess about. Right, let's put the ship about there, I think. Bit of a hull. Quite rough and ready at this stage. Just gives me an idea where I want to go with it. Dee dee dee. There we go, that is a start. Quick wipe of the old palette knife. Oh, get my long 
palette knife now. Just get some more of the sap green with red ochre. It's quite a nice browny, greeny, earthy colour. Maybe a ship colour, I don't know. Uh, put some masts up here. Yeah, there's a few viewers on this channel who unfortunately know about ships and know that these, that what I do aren't accurate because I've I put the incorrect amount of spars on or certain masts are wrong or what have you. I can only apologise because these are just off my imagination. So they may be wrong, they may not be historically accurate put something that way I think one there Quite shaky hands, but it seems to help. Doesn't seem to matter. I don't think so, and not for the the style that I do. I don't do anything photorealistic that needs loads of detail. Right, that's a start. Well, it's a middle bit. Just check my cameras on, which it is. Keep plodding on. I just want to give this palette knife a wipe and get my little triangular one. I snapped the handle off ages ago, but uh, it still works. Still does palette knifey things. Just put a few uh, lines and things on. Part of me, part of me, th kind of thinks that the masts are too tall for the size of the ship, so I might just go a little bit bigger. On the hull, only a fraction it does the job. some spars yeah to me uh, a sailing ship just seems a mass of confusion of wood and ropes and god knows what else it's just the way i see it i put a bit of a something there maybe a platform or something more suggestions of ropes various other bits I'll put something just there but yeah it's not looking too bad when I first started my ships um, I think it was about eight months ago I was quite tentative with doing that. I was a bit, a bit nervous and cautious. So I'd do a ship, but the, the masts would be quite short. But I've got a bit more confidence now, so I can go a bit higher. Just keep practicing. More suggestions of ropes and a bit of rigging. I kind of like folded sails rather than sails that are fully furled and everything like that because it, it kind of hides all the little bits of ropes and things like that 
I mean, there's a few lumps and bumps somewhere. There could be people climbing the rigging. Put something there, it could be people or whatever, swivel guns. Mm -hmm. Cannons sticking out maybe. Excuse my arm in the way. Scraping away just gives the illusion of some detail. Just fool the eye into thinking it's a ship. It's not looking too bad. I keep leaning back on my chair to uh, take stock, but one of these days I'm going to go arse over tet which won't be a good doubt but yeah I'm quite pleased I'm not gonna go overboard excuse the pun it's not looking bad at all that do quite like a ship right I'll leave the ship for now I'm gonna do some more on this sea Give me pallet knife a wipe again. And crack on. Right, let's get some. Give me brush a wipe as well. Let's grab a bit of this flake white. Just put a suggestion of waves and stuff on. Prussian blue down here as well. Nice. Moving fast seems to help just create a bit of movement in the sea. I think so anyway. Not bad, not bad. It's looking nice and stormy. Ah, oh, just knife on a bit of uh, flake white just there. Just gives the impression the ship kind of breaking through the waves. Good stuff, not bad. I am pleased with that. Excuse the close up of my neck and my chest. Not the best view. But yeah, just about looking okay now. So I think we'll get back to the ship. Let's get a bit of flake white and. Uh, well, I think there's light. Just gently put a bit on the ship, on the hull and on the rigging. Just gives the eye something to do.
Not too bad. Quite pleased. Bits of rope as well. Put a bit more sap green on just there. I think went over the top a little with the white. Maybe some Prussian blue as well. What the heck? And we're getting there nicely. there as well not bad right one ship on a stormy sea I'll put some Titanium, not titanium white, flake white just there. Just sort of scale out a little. All it needs, just a little bit. Maybe some here as well. Good, I am pleased with that. Not bad at all. Oh, a bit more blue up here, maybe. I think we're just about there. Might do one or two bits off camera. You've probably had enough for me by now. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not looking bad at all. Shows how quick you can do it. And you don't necessarily have to be good at painting, to paint a picture. You just do it. About moving your arms about. Excuse all the banging noise. So yeah, one ship. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Right, as I say, do a couple of bits off camera. But I think that looks just about dandy. Don't forget to subscribe, thank you if you already have. As well as YouTube, I am on, what am I on? Instagram, Facebook, and johnkid.com. I can never say it. It's my speech impediment. johnkid.co.uk I've just realised I might put something there as well. Distant ship or something like that. Could be anything. Just a little movement. There we go. Done. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, as I say. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.